Wix email tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Wix email. So let's get into it. Now, to use your business email address can be a great functionality when you're running your website and you can do that with Wix. So to get started, simply head on over to Wix.com and click on get started over here. And you can create your account with Google, Facebook, or your email address. I'm going to just proceed into my account. And once you have logged on to your account or you have signed up, you will find your basic dashboard. And over here, you're going to find any of your sites that you have created. Then you can click on create new site. And then on the top left, you can click on all sites to see all of your websites. Now, if you click on your profile icon on the top right, you can actually see a drop down menu. In this drop down menu, you have the option of business email. So you want to click on business email over here and you can get started with connecting your domain and building your own business email. So as you guys can see, you can get an email address at your custom domain and get more done and have access to Google's full suite of workspace tools. So to do that, you can click on connect a domain over here. From here, you're going to be led to your domains page. So you can choose to purchase a new domain if you don't have one already, or you can connect your pre-existing domain name. So you can click on that over here and click on upgrade and save. Now from here, you can upgrade to a more premium plan on Wix. Now currently I don't have a website on Wix, so it is required that you create your website on Wix to be able to connect your domain. So you're going to proceed over here and we are just going to design from a template. And we're just going to get a basic template for our website. So let's say we have this business consultation agency and we're just going to click on edit over here. We're going to edit on the new Wix studio and we can just proceed with saving our website. Now, a lot of people don't realize is that you do have to upgrade to premium to be able to connect your domain. And for premium, you guys can see there are multiple different types of plans that Wix has. So first off, they have their website plans. This does not include accepting payments. So if you're looking to upgrade your Wix website to a online shopping store, then you do have to go into their business and e-commerce plans and you will be able to see all of the detailed features of each one of these plans. So as you guys can see, you do have to be able to connect your domain, which is their most basic plan, starting at $4.50 a month. Then you will be able to see you have multiple different features in that. You also get access to some storage as well as fields per form and building your unique lead capturing forms. Now from here, we're going to go into our Wix Studio. And we're just going to click on publish over here and I'm just going to save our Wix Studio site over here. And once this has been published, I'm just going to click on done and we can go back into our Wix dashboard. Now, once you have added it in your Wix dashboard, you're going to find your domains over here. So you have marketing tools, you have analytics and reports. You also have your billings and payments, and then you have your settings. So in your settings, you have your website settings. So you can click on this over here. Below that, you have your site name. So we're going to enter our site name and then you have your site address. So you can click on upgrade now to be able to upgrade to a premium plan on Wix. Now, as you guys can see over here, there are four basic plans on Wix starting at $12 a month where you can get started with the basic online brand solutions where you have 10 gigabytes of storage. You also have one free domain for one year. You have the Wix branding removed. You have fully customizable widgets as well as other collaborative tools and data platforms available. And you can integrate your domain as well as your emailing functions over here. Now, other than that, you have your standard plan, which allows you to get access to five site collaborators and 4,000 CMS items. You have the plus version, which gives you access to 120 gigabytes of media storage. And then the elite version starting at $149 per month, giving you access to unlimited storage as well as 15 site collaborators. Now, okay, you have upgraded to a premium plan. You can click on select over here, choose your billing cycle, and if you go for a longer plan, so if you go for yearly or, you know, buy yearly payments, you're going to save more money, but you can proceed with the monthly payments. And then you can proceed with your payment info to be able to complete your purchase. 
Now, once you have completed your purchase, you're going to link your GoDaddy domain or any other domain that you are using to Wix. And that will help you in just building the same domain name based email address. So you guys can see you have your get custom email and you can click on get email over here and you can get your email on your service provider for your domain as well as Wix. Now, once you have added these features onto your Wix store or your Wix website, you want to be able to effectively use them. So to be able to do that, just go into Wix Studio and open up the site that you have. So you're going to go into your site dashboard and this is once you have your site dashboard opened up, you can click on the left side over here and you have multiple different tools, including marketing and SEO tools. You also have communications where you can click on communications and click on business email. And from here, you're going to find your business email linked and you can start sending emails from your professional business address instead of having to send from your own personal domain based email. Because if you're sending from, you know, xyz at gmail.com, that always just doesn't look as professional as a domain such as, you know, Jane Doe at DurdenStore.com. So that would obviously look a whole lot more professional. So you're going to find those communications in your business email section and you can get started with sending your professional emails with Wix. Now, other than that, you also have some email marketing tools integrated into Wix. For those, you can go into marketing and SEO and click on email marketing over here. Once you click on email marketing, you will be able to see multiple different types of marketing. So you guys can see you have a marketing or email builder as well. So you can build your emails from scratch or you can use a template as well. And you can click on edit template and get started with sending messages or sending promotional content via email with your new business email. So to do that, you can just click on any section and let's say this is December newsletter. And after that, I want to add a tagline like this. So I've added, you know, some basic text and you can click on any section to edit it. Now on the left side, you have content generators as well. You can also edit the format. So if you want to change the color or the style, you can select your text and then click on the left over here and you can format your text. So if I want this to be a medium heading, if I want this to be a large paragraph, then my font style as well, which I can change from here. And then you also have your sizes. Now, let's say you want your color to be different for this particular type of text. So for that, what you're going to do is you can click on the text color on the bottom in the style section, and you can pick out any color that you want. And if you want to add more content on for your own that is not present within the template, you can click on add over here on the top left. And once you do that, you can choose the type of element you want to add. Let's say I want to insert another image so I can drag and drop the image block. Once I've added the image block, I can choose the media files that I want to insert over here and I can get started with adding those and, you know, building my email up. Once I have completed editing my template, I can click on next on the top right and I can see all of the contexts that I have. And I can start sending it to all of my contacts that I have on Wix. So I can click on next over here. Now, after that, you will have your subject line and your subject line is what is going to appear on the mailbox for your customers. So make sure to edit that. Then you have your sender details. Obviously, this is our sender's name and this is going to be the reply to email for you guys. It should be showing up as your business email if you have connected it already. And if it doesn't, then you can click on edit and you can enter your ready uh, reply to email over here. And just like that, you can click on send now or schedule your email for later. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to grasp the basics of Wix emailing. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.